Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another Tinkercad Designer Showcase. So let's get cracking. Friends, we are on my website, hlmodtech.com, and we are here because it is this little button that allowed the user to reach out to me. Friends, you can fill this out with your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, friends, while we're here, let me also mention you could use the Tinkercad Community Discord to reach me as well. It is a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. When you click the link, it will look like this. You can simply accept the invite. As you can see, we are up to 147 members, and there are actually 38 online right now friends before we get started today i would like to take you out to the gallery it is a great place to see what the newest staff favorites are but friends my favorite thing to do is click latest see what kind of amazing designs have just been published and then make sure you click on these buttons and give them a reaction for their awesome creations that is so cool as i scroll down i like this tank gonna give it an a plus as well very cool and let's see this down here i love scribble art this is by doza 444 oh my gosh awesome creation so cool to see designs from new and up and coming designers friends one more cool tip whenever you launch if you look up here and see notifications it is so cool to take a peek at who's checking out your stuff I also love to click on their profiles, and if I see something awesome, I like to give them kudos as well. That is so adorable. Love your creation, and it's so cool to be able to make connections by simply checking your notifications. All right, everybody, on today's shout out, we have got a design from Eleanor. This is a special spaceship called the Jolly Rouge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the grid just because I like this view better as I show things off nowadays. And then if we zoom in on this, let's check out these notes down here. The Jolly Rouge is a unique, one-of-a-kind battlecruiser built for an admiral who recently transferred from a previous command. It manages to still be one of the most advanced ships within its navy, fast and heavily armed with its 30 centimeter main guns. Those will be up there, I bet. Let's zoom in and check some more of this out. So first, as we're checking right here, we have got the main guns. There are eight 300 centimeter guns. This right here is the nameplate. Uh, the ship is named for an amazing song by the Dreadnoughts. That's awesome. Check out this weaponry under here. Oh my gosh. Looks like it can shoot both ways. That is so cool. If we come up here, this is a small RCS thruster. Just a bit of realism. These are missile tubes, approximately 40 of them. These are anti-aircraft guns. They are linked in triplets. Here we have the fighter launch bays, awesome, 18 total. This is a fighter, an SSF-10 Teleron, also published on the account. Let's do F to zoom in and check out that fighter. Real quickly, I'm going to hide the notes so we can get an even better look at it. That's pretty darn awesome. As we slide across right here, these are the secondary gun arrays. They are weaker than the forward ones. Once again, we can pan. Let's see what this is. This is the communication antenna. There are four of those. If we go back here to the back, I'm going to slide so we can see that better. Those are the main engines. They are big and heavy things. Friends, Eleanor estimates that she spent between six and eight hours over two separate days building the Jolly Rouge. Right now it is grouped into 56 shapes, but she estimates that there are four to 5,000 shapes in this awesome spacecraft. Another really cool feature that Eleanor has going here is there are little rotation pins. So if I come out here, check it out, that rotates around a center of axis that would actually make it so it could shoot down. Same thing with this one, it rotates out and about so you could actually manipulate these to make them look like they're really in action. And it's because of these distances being equidistant from the center. I'm gonna shut off the notes and let's just take one last look around. Oh my gosh, what an awesome vehicle you've created, Eleanor, and thank you so much 
for taking time to share. Friends, remember if you ever make something awesome and want to take time to share it with me, it is so simple. You can click on this icon, generate a link, copy that link, and then you can reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, and Gmail. You can also track me down on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. If that doesn't work, don't forget you can also visit hlmodtech.com. It is my website. I've got a page dedicated to Tinkercad, and then down at the bottom, there is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information, hit send, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, the other option is to use the sweet Tinkercad Community Discord, a great place to talk about everything Tinkercad. Finally, there is the Designer Showcase. Don't forget, this is the Designer Directory. If you want your profile added to this, all you have to do is send it to me. And then also down here, we have the Tinkercad Design Nuclear Reactor. You can add a design link and then visit the reactor to give everybody feedback and then finally if you ever want a shout out here are the steps and this is how you request it in conclusion friends a huge shout out to eleanor oh my gosh awesome design and thank you so much for taking time to share it with us friends if you enjoyed this video please give it a like please also hit that share button so more people can learn about hl mod tech of course if you got a question comment or a suggestion add it down below and if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for smash that subscribe button and last but not least hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me hl mod tech thanks for watching have a great day